Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Well, welcome back to my channel, Inside to Him. Well, it is the month after Me Made May, which is always a very interesting month for those of us who participate in Me Made May because your mind is fresh of all of these sort of realizations that you've had as you have been picking out clothes from your wardrobe, finding what works, finding what doesn't work. And now I have an opportunity to fill the gaps that I might have in my wardrobe, but I also have an opportunity to make more of the things that I kept grabbing and kept gravitating towards. So I am so excited about my makes for June. Um, first off, let's start with my refashion, simply because it's on top. So we have 4th of July coming up and I'm sure that I will go see some fireworks or maybe a picnic, go to the lake, I'm not sure, something. So I wanna have something ready to go. I got this dress from Goodwill a few months ago. It is a J. Crew size four, 100% cotton, uh, what's it called? Like strapless dress. And since the skirt is so full, I mean, it is a very, very full skirt. What I wanna do is just chop it off at wherever my waist measurement is and turn it into a circle skirt. Um, so I'll just add a waistband, maybe even just some elastic, maybe that like silver elastic that they sell at Joanne. Something sort of simple and straightforward that will just come together easily. I can have a cute little skirt to pop on for Memorial Day, 4th of July, Labor Day, all of that kind of stuff. So that's what I am going to do with this guy. I'll maintain the lining as well. Um, the lining is cotton, it's also on the inside so that it prevents it from being sheer and I just love the little detail on the hem. So I'll keep that as well. Cute, huh? Um, okay, so that is gonna be my plan for the refashion. Uh, next up, so I found myself wearing a lot of separates uh, in Me Made May and I've also found myself not being as afraid of pants here recently as you've seen. So I thought, okay, maybe I should tackle shorts. That way when I'm wearing my separates, I don't feel super obligated to grab a me made shirt. Uh, I can wear me made shorts or have an entire me made summer outfit, which I really don't have because I don't have any bottoms. I don't have shorts. I do have some like culottes that you guys saw me made May that are real lightweight and kind of dressy. I'm looking for something kind of casual. Um, so I uh, grabbed Simplicity 1887. Um, these shorts here. I don't know about the front little tie thing that may or may not make it, but I like it because the back is elasticized. So I know that I will be able to get a good fit in the waist and it will be comfortable and I don't have to worry about too, too many fit issues. I can basically fit my hip, do a little bit of a full seat adjustment for my bubble butt <laughs> and then let the elastic take care of the rest of it. Um, so the fabric I'm choosing is a very safe fabric, but again, I want these to be super, super wearable all summer long. So I just picked a chambray out of the stash. Um, I have a lot of this. I don't really remember where I got it or what I got it for. I don't typically buy fabric like this, like a basic like this just because, but I don't know. But it's this, it's the perfect weight for a short like that, perfect weight for summer. Um, so while I have it out, I might also cut a top and then have like a top and short set. Is that cute? Um, I pulled out this top, Simplicity 8090. I like this version. Um, I think if I could find some cute trim. Oh, I bet that's what this was. Okay, I got this at Hobby Lobby. Oh, well, now my idea is like, I don't know what to do because I'd still like this idea. Remember that pom-pom trim I got? It was like all the different colors. I got it when I did my, um, that video when I was like checking out the Charlotte Hobby Lobby for the first time. So that's what I got this for. So I could still do that 
and do that pom-pom trim here. Um, I could still do that with like a top like this and do pom-pom trim all around the um, hem of the shirt. Um, yeah, my initial thought was to do a dress that had some kind of like layering thing, not necessarily one of those pull down off the shoulder ones because I don't like how they, the elasticized ones that always pop up onto your shoulders, but something that had like maybe straps and then like a second layer and then do the pom-pom trim around that. So I don't know, let me cut out the shorts. It is Hobby Lobby. I'm sure they might maybe still have this and it's also just chambray. It's nothing special. Like I can get more of this anywhere. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna stick with this idea <laughs> that I came up with and do the shorts and the top out of matching chambray that I can wear separate or together, either one, and have a lot of really cute outfits, um, or at least a lot of cute options for summer um, out of this kind of basic chambray. Perfect, okay. Next up, okay, this is a really fun one. I grabbed this pattern, McCall 7602. I love this, but I don't love peplum tops. I just don't know. This feels like it accentuates my hips and I don't love it. But do you guys know how easy it is to make this into a dress? You literally just add 9, 10, 11 inches to this skirt pattern piece and you've got a dress. So that is what I'm going to be doing. Of course, I'm making the version with the flounce, but not the contrast one. I'm just making the one that's all one solid um, fabric, one, same, one of the same fabric. And I pulled out this, oh gosh, what kind of fabric is it? I can't remember. I know it's Kathy Davis from Joanne. They had it forever and ever. You might even have some. They also had a pink version that I already have a dress out of. And um, I think this will be really cute, like a play on the stripes kind of sort of how they're doing here. And I think it'll be pretty to have the stripe on the flounce kind of, you know, how theirs is doing here. And so I'll have the stripes going, I think mine, I think mine will run this way based on the fabric. Um, and then this one will be a different way. Anyways, um, this, gosh, I cannot remember. It's not a, it's definitely cotton. Um, it's not gonna say on the selvage. And I can't remember what type of weave it is, but it's like a fairly mid-weight uh, cotton. So it's gonna be pretty structured circle skirt. So I think that'll be really cute and kind of a fun take on this pattern that I normally wouldn't wear like peplum tops, but I think this will make a really cute version extending it into a dress. Fun, fun. Okay. That's nice and easy. Hmm. Okay. Next up. Okay. So, um, during me made May, it, this is probably has something to do with the fact that it is, it got really hot toward the end of May and I'm having a hard time like, uh, balancing 98 degrees outside, but like 70 degrees inside. So anytime like I go to work or I go shopping or to the movies or wherever, it's like so hot outside, I'm sweating as soon as I turn the car off to freezing inside um, because everybody's got the air conditioning just cranking as you know full speed all day long. So I thought knit dresses would solve that problem. They're nice and cool whenever you're outside, but they can also be warm and cozy on the inside. And so I said, I need some more knit dresses, not to mention they're super, super comfortable, not to mention they're very forgiving when the waistline doesn't know what it wants to do throughout the day. Mine can grow a lot, <laughs> uh, like five inches or so. I know that sounds wild to some of you, but that's what happens when you've got gut health issues. Fun stuff, kids. Okay, so I grabbed Butterick uh, 5639, and I like this version here. I don't know about these little triangle bits. It just feels tacked on, I guess. So I like this one. That's more intentional. It has the princess seams. All of these have empire waist 
uh, seam. So there's nothing cutting across the center of your waist at all, which is nice. And they've got these huge, super duper cool pockets, which I think will be great in the summer because a bag is just one extra thing that you're lugging around. Um, the fabric I picked is a double brush poly. This one came from So So English Fabrics. Um, I don't know if you've ever sewn with double brush poly before. It's pretty popular, fairly common across all of the kind of online uh, fabric shops. I have gotten some from Cali Fabrics before and uh, they have this at So So English. I know LA Finch has a bunch. So there's a ton of really pretty designs, ton of different kinds of designs. There's geometric, there's floral, there's abstract, there's all kinds of stuff. So Double Brush Poly is a really good entry level knit. If you've never sewn with knit before, a lot of you were saying, or maybe not a lot, but some of you had said that for the sew along, your knit was a little hard to work with and your machine kept eating it. Uh, this, that won't really happen with this. This is more of a stable knit. And so it's just, I don't know, easier to work with. It's like cotton. If this is cotton, then Jersey knit is like the rayon chalet. You know what I mean? So this is really pretty, really pretty floral. And I also think it will transition well spring, summer, fall. Um, throw on a jean jacket. I have a white jean jacket. I have a, you know, denim blue jean jacket. So I think I'll be able to wear this a lot. And, you know, seeing as it's just like a little sleeveless dress, I can also throw on cardigans or a shawl or whatever I need um, throughout the year. And this could be like a nine month dress, which I think everyone needs in their life. So that is gonna be my next make. And then finally, I just wanted an, a fun, bright, summery, pizzazzy dress. So I grabbed, oh, and this also, another thing about this pattern is during Me Made May, I realized I have a lot of really great patterns in my stash already, and I really wanted to start remaking some of them. I talked about this a little bit in my makes video, um, but you know, I guess it's kind of a challenge because I am the one that's always drawn to like the bright new shiny thing, the new it thing, uh, the new trend, you know, and all of that kind of stuff. So it's hard for me to go back and revisit a pattern, but I know how it's gonna fit. The pattern pieces are already cut out. It should be a really quick process to gather, gather everything that I need just to get to the sewing part. So for those reasons, I have decided to re-sew uh, 7160, McCall's 7160. Uh, the first version of this dress was this one. Nope. Uh, this one. I remember the dress that had the green flowers and then the green and white stripes that's this same dress. So fun, right? So they have a version that doesn't have that skirt doodad. Um, so I'll be making this one probably sleeveless. And I chose this really pretty, I'm pretty sure it's polyester, uh, florally, like I said, bright summer fun um, floral print. It's got tons of flowers, hot pink, coral, baby pink, all of that in these like drawn on um, flowers. It's also kind of a um, panel. So I'll have to figure that out. I'm trying to maybe even see how the panel works. See how they're like triangles. Can y'all see that? I'll be able to show you better whenever I make the dress. But basically, they're like, you know, swaths of the flowers and then a big blank pink part and then another thing of flowers. And it's kind of like diagonal and they're kind of triangular. I got this in New Orleans at Promenade Fabrics. So that's fun. Uh, got it last November. -y. Um, so I'll do some pattern placement. Another great way to reuse a pattern is to find a fabric that has something kind of tricky about it because you you have a little less to think about because you've already sewn it before. 
so you can really concentrate and get it laid out exactly like you need to highlight the um, to highlight the fabric in the best way. So that is going to do it for me and my plans for June. Again, I feel really good about this month. I feel like it's going to be a very uh, purposeful, productive month, and it's going to be things that I am actually going to get a lot of wear out of, and also, um, you know, filling in holes and, you know, repeating things I know I'm going to wear a bunch and adding more of that into my wardrobe rather than the flashy thing that I can only really wear like one or two times a year. You know what I'm saying? So I'm really excited. I can't wait to show you guys as these things progress. Uh, be sure to follow me on Instagram and or Facebook. I do post behind the scenes stuff and give everyone updates there whenever it's not enough content to fill a whole video. It's in between the month or whatever. I do tend to post some fun stuff there. So if you have either one of those accounts, you can follow me. I am at Inside the Hem everywhere. And let me know what your big plans are for June. Do you have any summery plans? For those of you that are in the Southern Hemisphere, you're working on winter, so that's wild. Let me know what you're gonna be working on. Who's working on a um, winter coat right now? <laughs> Raise your hand. So strange. Um, uh, but anyways, that's gonna do it for me today. I will see you all very soon. Bye.